Hello, this is John from the Haunt Informer, and today I'm talking about haunts I would like to go to in the future. I've been to a lot of haunted houses, and I've had a really good time doing it, and I can't wait to see more. But there are lots of haunted houses on my bucket list that I've not seen yet that I would really like to see at some point. I don't know if I'll be able to see them this year, but definitely in the future at some point. The cards will line up just right in the future, hopefully for me. And I would love to go to the south and see mobile haunts like Netherworld and 13th Gate. And on the way there, I could see the New Orleans Nightmare. And I could also see, maybe I could even go over to Florida and start seeing some Florida haunts. Go to Halloween Horror Nights again. Go to Bush Gardens. I could, There's just so many haunts to go to. There's so many haunts in every state. There's so many haunts in so many different states that it's impossible for me to go to all of them in just one year, but I could go to a lot of them, and I would really like to go to the Dent Schoolhouse in Ohio. That would be amazing, and if I went there, I would also go to Fear Columbus. That is in Columbus, Ohio, so there's all kinds of great things out there. In Akron, Ohio, there's the Haunted Schoolhouse and Laboratory. I'd love to go there. So there's just so many haunts to go to. My bucket list is absolutely massive. My bucket list is pages and pages long. I'd like to go to the Haunted Hoochie of Dead Acres just because how crazy it is and just off the wall it is and insane and all kinds of gory effects and crazy effects they do there that no one else does. A very interactive over the top haunted house is Erebus. I'd love to go to Erebus in Michigan. That'll be a ton of fun. I've seen lots of videos of it from Travel Channel and different haunt specials over the years and it looks absolutely insane with all kinds of custom effects like they have this custom like killer monkey character like a puppet that'll come out of the dark and like grab your legs and pull you into the dark they have a custom t-rex head custom pterodactyl they have a custom area where it looks like rock walls are going to hit you they have an interesting effect where it looks like a prop body is going to come at you and it like shoots out of a casket so they have so many cool effects and they do an entire scene where it's claustrophobic and you feel like you don't have any air because a whole bunch of plastic balls come down from the ceiling and it's like a ball pit and it's very claustrophobic and you feel like you're going to run out of air. But of course it's fine and they know how to do it safely but it gives that illusion and it definitely freaks out people and they change up the theme over the years it's never the same so it'd be really exciting to go to that I'd like to go to the Dark Hour Haunted House in Plano Texas that'd be wonderful I know Alan Hobbs and his team do a ton of really good custom work there really nice pre-show wonderful haunt every year so it'd be really nice to go there it'd be nice to go to the Cutting Edge in Texas as well that'd be a ton of fun they have all kinds of great over-the-top scenes. It's a really long haunt. All kinds of great effects in there. And just so many haunts out there. Love to go to the House of Torment in Austin. I've wanted to go there for tons of years. Never been out to there. So there's just so many haunts I'd like to go to. As you can tell from this video. There's just so many. And I've only scratched the surface. I've only talked about a couple haunts from different states. There's just so many across the whole United States. There's just so many places to go to. Of course, I'd like to go to the Edge of Hell and the Beast in Missouri. That'd be a ton of fun. And there's haunts in California I'd like to go to. I've never been to Not Scary Farm. Never been to Howling Horror Nights Hollywood. I've never been to the Reign of Terror. So there's just so many places. And yeah, it's just there's just so much. And there's Mad World. I'd like to go to Mad World at some point. That'd be nice. And just... There's just so many places. There's just so much. And I've never been to Bennett's Curse in Maryland. I'd like to go there. That'd be fun. And the Hotel of Horror in Sailorsburg, Pennsylvania. That'd be fun to go to. It's really creepy and grungy and has all kinds of custom effects and that you won't see other places. And I actually talked to multiple scare actors from that haunt, Hotel of Horror. And you can check out that video in the corner. Did an interview with Glenn for Fall Informer there. So... There's just so many haunts to go to, tons and tons of haunts, massive list I have, and I just, I just love going to haunted houses, they're just so much fun, I love the adrenaline rush of it, the fun scares, the great set design, just, I love the whole art of it, it's just so much fun, and 
it's just a great time out. It's a really fun time year round. I love off season haunts as well when they can take an existing haunt and then change it up and add different decorations and different theming and sound effects and scare effects and I just love it all. So I like haunted houses 365 days of the year. I've already had the opportunity to go to multiple really good haunted houses and I'll have my playlist with haunted attractions linked in the corner and I went to the Transworld Haunt Show and had a ton of fun there, did multiple interviews and videos with people and I got to go on the Windy City bus tour so I'll have my whole playlist about the Transworld Haunt Show in the corner for you and you can check that out if you are interested so stay tuned to this channel I'll have all kinds of new scary and spooky content out in the future more interviews with haunt owners scare actors more information about the haunt industry and haunt attractions so there's lots to look forward to in the future that was the Haunt Informer. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get a notification every single time I put up a new video. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And I'm on social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can find all those links in the description below. And as always, happy hauntings.